So in the first step of this problem, we need to normalize this initial wave function. So we have this initial wave function, and I'm pretty sure this is something we've been doing many times in the past already, so we just follow through the normal procedure. So to normalize this, we need to consider this interval over here be equal to 1. So that is what it means to normalize an, a wave function. So the uh, absolute value of the initial wave function squared, that's just equal to the absolute value squared of the constant. And then for this e term here, it becomes negative 2ax squared dx. So now our challenge is to solve this integral. And then this integral is actually going to be equal to the square root of pi over 2a. So the reason is because, first of all, we can consider the Gaussian integral. So we know that this integral here is equal to the square root of pi. So you can prove this using a double integral. So I'm not going to go through that proof in this video, but if you're interested, you can find out how you can prove this. So using this result, we can see that we can just do a slight substitution. So if I put a constant at the front over here, I can just do a substitution. I can let uh, the square root of kx be equal to u. So if I apply this substitution to this integral over here, the bounds still go from negative infinity to infinity. The e term becomes e to the power of negative u square. And then you see that du dx is equal to the square root of k. So du, uh, du divided by the square root of k is equal to dx. So I can replace the dx with this term over here. And then as we know, you just have the Gaussian integral here in the inside the integral. So this is just the square root of pi. So this is equal to the square root of pi divided by k. And using this result, I can just apply it directly to this integral. So you see this is just the square root of pi divided by 2a. And so this is equal to 1. And so that means the absolute value of a squared is equal to the square root of 2a divided by pi. And so we, we can choose a to be the simplest form so that it's only just a real number. So it could be anything. It's, this could be a complex number. But we're going, we, can, we are free to choose the simplest form. So we just choose the form where a is just a single real number, so there are no imaginary components. And under this choice, we get 2a divided by pi to the power of 1 fourth. So this is the answer. So if I apply this a to this wave function, then I would have normalized this expression.